<coughs> a last reflection from Australia is of the way in which climate and geography and ecology shape human beings. It's become rather unfashionable for us to think of this until quite recently when we've become aware of the effects of climate change. But in Australia it's so very visible. The whole organisation and history of Australia is deeply affected by two things. One is by the nature of the soil, which is very poor. For a long period there's been no volcanic activity and the top soil is very leached away. And so, as you can see in this forest, the growth is very sporadic, the grass is very coarse, it's really very empty of animals and bird life because of the poor soil. And that was one of the determinants of Australia. The second was the climate, El Nino, which was only recently discovered its effects, but basically it led to a situation where you've got reasonable rainfall for a few years and then for eight, ten years, complete drought. And this is probably the main reason why for a very long period the population of Australia was very, very light. It adapted to the difficult times maintained a hunter-gatherer way of life and the result is that you had for 40,000 years some ecological stability and both those things are shaped by the climate. We tend to forget that but really the history of the world is very deeply influenced by the different climatic and geographical regions though human beings interact and then reshape it. <coughs>